Climate finance refers to the money provided by local, national or international sources to support actions that address climate change. This includes both public funds from governments and private funds from businesses. The Paris Agreement, a global treaty on climate change, urges wealthier countries, often responsible for more greenhouse gas emissions, to help finance climate action in developing countries. This is about fairness and differentiated responsibility. Climate finance should be used to both reduce emissions and help societies adapt to the changing climate. This isn't just about climate action, but also about ensuring the action is fair and just, helping those most affected by the crisis. There are different types of climate finance, such as loans, which need to be paid back, and grants, which don't. There are also guarantees, which allow countries to borrow money from financial institutions, usually to mobilize private finance, and mostly at low borrowing costs. Often, a mix of public and private money is used, known as blended finance. Several international funds and mechanisms, like the Green Climate Fund and the Adaptation Fund, have been set up to distribute climate finance. These funds are meant to help developing countries deal with the impacts of climate change. However, accessing these funds can be challenging due to their complex and bureaucratic processes. The global finance system often feels stacked in favor of developed countries. Policies can harm the public, like pushing for privatization and cutting essential social services. That's why it's so important to understand and reform the system, ensuring climate finance truly benefits the people who need it most. For South Africa, a just transition means moving away from a fossil fuel-based energy system such as coal-fired power and investing in renewable energy. Climate finance should support this shift, ensuring that communities and workers are part of the decision-making process and no one is left behind.